All right, so let's face it here. Getting started with video can be rather intimidating. It can be overwhelming even, and there could be a lot of insecurity with just the way that you're shooting, right? Not really knowing if what you're doing is a good job. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about shooting video and how you can be better prepared so that your content is presented in a way that can be received and understood outside of what you're saying, if that makes sense. So I wanted to discuss five ways to use angles to better get your point across. Number one, you're gonna to wanna to determine whether you're looking for an authoritative point of view or you're looking to be seen as inferior to your customers. Now there's not really any gray area between this. I mean, you can mix and match it with different people in your business, but for the most part, you're either looking down on somebody as if they're coming to your stage, taking a seat and you're speaking to them, they're paying for your knowledge or your wisdom or direction as an authoritative leader, right? As a thought leader, or you're trying to position yourself as some sort of public servant or service option that people are making that decision to buy into, right? You don't want to come across as necessarily inferior or as a servant, right? Or at their will, but you do want to step into the video, allowing them to feel like they're in control. I believe this, at least at pre-focus, that the more you talk at people and tell them what to do, the more uncomfortable they feel. So if you're able to come in and kind of look up at them a little bit so that they are seen on the stage making that decision, that's a little bit more encouraging uh, or welcoming than just a a straight shot right here boom 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 in your face the next thing i want to talk about is since a lot of people do do that authoritative view where you're kind of angled up at yourself where people are looking up at you i want to encourage you to try to uh, angle from the side a lot of people have told me this early on when i was doing a lot of videos because i would just sit my phone on the steering wheel but people don't want to look up your nostrils right especially you got a booger there they don't want to see what's in your brain they want to hear what's in your brain with that in mind just a little bit of a twist just a little bit of an angle bringing it down looking down at the camera you can still keep your straight face you could still walk around talk around as much as you want but that just gives it a little bit more of an added element of perspective you're not directly over the top of somebody as if they're in a submission state and it's always a good idea to add a little bit of movement so if you actually have a cameraman that's filming you and you're from the authoritative point of view or either either point of view for that matter if you're able to just slowly move that camera just a little bit as you're talking it just adds a little bit of emotion to the camera or to the setting itself which keeps people from getting bored i think a lot of people they change you know they like to change that angle boom 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 we're Really quickly and stuff and I think that's really distracting and if you're just able to have a nice little smooth rotation here this just kind of keeps people like oh is he going somewhere where's he going oh I'm hearing him you know what I mean the next thing I want to address is just the whole idea of side-by-side -side talk tracks or talking heads I think whenever you're doing an interview or just a video of two people in general they normally like to sit side by side and you normally see a lot of this somebody looking at each other looking back and forth having a conversation side to side if you really want to captivate your audience like change it up a little bit use your angles adequately shoot from behind get the nonverbals of somebody maybe pulling at their ear or loosening their jacket as you're looking directly at the person talking but you don't even have to capture the person talking all the time you could even capture the listener if they're intently listening looking them in the eyes nodding their head paying attention it makes that person that's talking seem a lot more authoritative or trustworthy or credible right an ability to capture that authentic conversation even if it's a side-by-side -side shot of people facing each other is a lot more effective than you're getting a side shot from somebody else looking at them anyways and what's the point of looking back and forth at each other when you could face each other be creative with your angles you don't have to go all in on this talking head like i'm doing right now where i'm just talking right at you if you got a cameraman you have a nice setting capture it all and don't be afraid to try something new the next thing i want to talk about is just something i learned early on in my production career you want to be able to paint the scene adequately you want to be able to show people where you're coming from or where you're going or where you are right so even if you're having just a little intimate meeting that's maybe in the corner of an office space at a small desk paint the picture of the scene how do you get into the building what's the building on the outside look like are you able to enter that building are there other people around can you scan the whole office space is there other people there are they alone you know what's the environment look like what's the climate look like what time of day is it how are you able to paint that picture of that meeting how do you really bring out that meeting even more that that people can relate to right sometimes it could be even as simple as if, if it's in an open space and there's a second floor you're looking down on that lobby and you're able to get what's called like a heaven shot or a god shot looking down on the scene as they're talking or maybe shaking hands or walking up to each other and then sitting down you could do that in five or ten seconds and really add it and it doesn't take a lot of time at all but it adds a lot of value to the production project in general paint that picture then get close in on the sit down get close in on the actions get close in on the b-roll footage the hand movements the gestures the mouth the drinks the coffee the notes or whatever that scene may be and then once the interaction is over or the scene in general then you're able to escape that environment just like i talked about in another video with a nice transition that rolls right into something else that makes a lot of sense
points and you're not losing anybody throughout the process. The last angle that I love to do is trying to encompass being a fly on the wall. Is there anything that could be a little bit of a barrier in the image itself or in the picture itself? Like, are you able to get the corner, a post, maybe a tree or somebody walking by or a corner of the couch or something on the desk that really just shows that you're there, but the people don't know you're there. This helps create a little bit more comfort, trust, and it just gives a different perspective that brings out the total quality of the picture. Be purposeful with everything you do, guys, and always remember to pre-focus.